Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, August 26th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a beautiful depiction, an illumined page from a manuscript from 1210. This is the baptism and the temptation of Christ. As you can see on the bottom half, the devil is tempting Jesus in two ways, offering him bread and telling him that he can rule the world, showing him from the top of the temple. And then at the top half, we see this beautiful depiction of Jesus who's naked, but the water is covering him in this big wave. And John the Baptist almost looks like he's riding the wave on the water. A disciple, or perhaps Mary, has his garment on the right and an angel. So we see here the juxtaposition between the battle of evil and the baptism that in baptism we vow to fight the darkness. One lays the foundation for the other. We are baptized children of the light, following Jesus. We stand against the darkness, saying no to temptation and yes to God. We are at the end of 2 Samuel, and David is beginning to say goodbye. In saying goodbye, he looks back on his life, as many people do when they get older. But David doesn't talk about himself. He talks about his warriors. He talks about his great military victories, but not how he did it. He talks about how others did it. He names them. Particularly, he tells a story of waiting in a cave surrounded by Philistines near Bethlehem, and he says, whoa, I'd really love a drink from the well in Bethlehem, which is where he grew up. Three of his soldiers hear him and they go out and take great risk to their lives and actually bring the water back. And David is appalled that they have risked their own lives for this water. So he pours it out and says, I can't drink this water. It's like your blood. You are precious to me and I wish you hadn't taken that risk. So this great leader ends up being a great leader because he doesn't focus on himself. He focuses on other people. I love going to visit Bishop Cervini here in the Diocese of Florida, who always asks me all about myself, doesn't seem interested in himself at all. The sign of a great leader is fascination and love for those around them. And David tells of others at the end of his life. He sings the praise of so many people and loves them. Let us pray. Almighty God, we are tempted to be so self-absorbed in this time and place in this culture. We ask you to help us to focus on others, to give ourselves as a gift to them, to liberate ourselves from the bondage of self and open ourselves to the glory of love love of you and love of our neighbor. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless those who are dying and those who mourn, the hungry, the incarcerated, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind, those who are lonely, those who find themselves struggling for direction in life, those who find themselves at the end of life and lonely. We ask you to bring peace to this earth, to all the nations of the world. We ask you to give us wisdom, enlighten the human race, that we may treat one another with respect and kindness and forbearance, and that we may learn to live in harmony with this planet cherishing its resources for the benefit of future generations. All this we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who battled demons and was baptized so that he might do your work in this world. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.